blessing. Good morning, and welcome to the Holy Trinity Catholic High School Class of 2023 graduation ceremony. My name, yes, let's applause, it's an exciting morning. My name is Matt Campbell. I'm the Director of Curriculum Instruction and Assessment with Fort McMurray Catholic Schools and very, very proud former Vice Principal of today's graduating class. It is a great honor and privilege to have been asked by Principal Damaris Noble and Vice Principal North to return to the Holy Trinity family today to serve as the Master of Ceremonies for this morning's event. It is hard to believe that we've arrived at this moment. I have fond memories of the bright-eyed excitement and nervousness of today's graduating class as they walked into Holy Trinity for the first time six years ago with me by their side as a first-year vice principal. I'm delighted to be here with you today to share in this celebration, and I'm grateful for the joy that these young men and women brought into my life during my four years with them. Before we begin, a few housekeeping items. Please, familiar, please familiarize yourself with the nearest emergency exit in the unlikely event that we must exit the building. If you are seated in the front half of the gymnasium, exterior doors are located to the right and left of the stage. If you're seated in the back half of the gymnasium, please use the main gym doors and proceed to the front entrance of the school. As well, washrooms are located through the main gym doors in the front atrium area. We will begin this morning's event with the welcoming of our platform guests. Joining the processional, please welcome the leadership team of Holy Trinity Catholic High School. Principal Luanne Damaris Noble, Vice Principals Julie North, Jennifer Frecker McDougall, and Kevin Garbuio. The leadership team is joined by the staff members of Holy Trinity. Please remain seated for the next segment of our processional. Honored guests, parents, guardians, family and friends, processing into their grad songs entitled See You Again by Wiz Khalifa and Charlie Puth, Viva La Vida by Coldplay, and Hall of Fame by The Script, it is my great honor to present the Holy Trinity Catholic High School graduating class of 2023. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began, oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you Tell you all about it when I see you again. 
tell you. When I see you again.
Straight through hell with a smile You can be a hero, you can get the gold Breaking all the records they thought would never be broke Yeah, do it for your people, do it for your pride Are you ever gonna know if you never even try? Do it for your country, do it for your name Cause there's gonna be a day when you're standing in the hall of fame It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again, when I see you the planes we flew good things we've been through that i'll be standing right here talking to you about another path i know we love to hit the road and laugh but something told me that it wouldn't last had to switch up look at things different see the bigger picture those were the days hard work forever pays now i see you in a better place see you in a better place oh. We not talk about family when family's all that we got Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again I see you again We've 
We've come a long way Came a long way From where we began You know we started Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again I'll tell you When I see you again You both go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and was small turn to a friendship a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first then the line will never be crossed established it on our own when that line had to be drawn and that line is what we reach so remember me when i'm gone can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I went through, you were standing there by my side. And now you're gonna be with me for the last one. Let the light guide your way. Yeah. Hold every memory as you go. And every road you take will always lead you. It's been a long day without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began, oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again, when I see you
the best. You can be the king, come banging on your chest. You can beat the world, you can win the war. You can talk to God, go banging on his door. You can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock. You can move a mountain, you can break rocks. Some will call it practice, some will call it luck. But either way, you're going to the history book. Standing in the hall of fame. You can run the mile, you can walk straight through hell with a smile. You can be a hero, you can get the gold. Breaking all the records they thought would never be broken. Yeah, do it for your people, do it for your pride. Are you ever gonna know if you never even try? Do it for your country, do it for your name. Cause there's gonna be a day when you're standing in the hall of fame. You both 
go out your way and the vibe is feeling strong and was small turn to a friendship a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost let us begin this morning by acknowledging that we are on traditional treaty 8 territory and the homeland of the metis we recognize the land on which we stand as the ancestral land of the indigenous peoples and is common home to everyone in virtue of God, our creator's gracious gift. Please now stand for the playing of O Canada led by the Holy Trinity Catholic High School Concert Band under the direction of Mr. Ben Lear. Please be seated. Graduates, you may now put on your graduation caps. We are fortunate to have a number of school, school and community leaders and special guests with us today to celebrate our graduates. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to Kathy Langmead, chairperson of the Fort McMurray Catholic School Board, along with trustees pa Paula Golanzowski and Jonathan Higdon. As well, we're joined by Superintendent of Schools, Natasha MacArthur Poole, Deputy Superintendent Lisa Hilsentager, and Councillor Keith McGrath, representing the Regional Municipality of Wood Buffalo. Thank you for being here with us today. And now to lead us in an opening prayer, please welcome Mr. Christopher Polson, our school chaplain. I'll invite everyone to bow their heads. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Loving God, our Heavenly Father, on this joyous day we gather before you to celebrate the accomplishments of these graduates as they prepare to embark on new journeys. We thank you for the gift of education, for the knowledge and the wisdom they have gained, for the friendships formed and the lessons learned in this sacred place of learning and growth. Bless these graduates, dear Lord, with your divine guidance and protection as they step into the world to make a difference and share your love. Grant them the courage to stand for truth and justice, the compassion to serve others selflessly, the perseverance to overcome challenges, and the humility to recognize their dependence on you. May they always strive for excellence, not merely in academics, but in faith and character. Inspire them to be leaders who lead with humility, guided by your truth and guided by your love. Help them to remember the lessons taught by Jesus, to love one another as you have loved them to be a source of hope and light in the world, often clouded by darkness and despair. Bless their families, teachers, and mentors for their tireless dedication and support as they've nurtured and shaped these graduates 
to be the remarkable individuals they are today. In their future endeavors, dear Lord, may they find success and fulfillment, but above all, may they find you. For in you, they will find true purpose and everlasting joy. We entrust these graduates into your loving hands as they leave their high school behind. Guide them along their chosen paths and keep them close to your heart divine. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Polson. The trustees of the Fort McMurray Catholic School Board of Education work tirelessly to ensure that our schools meet the academic, social, and spiritual needs of our students. They are the truest definition of servant leaders and are the community's strongest advocates for faith-based education. On behalf of trustees Paula Golanzowski, Anthony Hoffman, Kelsey Jambier, and Jonathan Higdon, I will now ask Chairperson Kathy Langmead to come forward to deliver words of congratulations to our graduates. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to all of our esteemed guests, parents, loved ones, and uh, the staff of Trinity as well. A special welcome to all of you grads this morning. I bring you greetings this morning on behalf of my fellow trustees, Vice Chair Anthony Hoffman, Paula Galanzowski, Kelsey Janve, and Jonathan Higdon. As the parent of a daughter who graduated from Trinity a couple of years ago and uh, who has a son still within the Fort McMurray Catholic School System. I have the privilege to know some of you and to know some of your parents through school and sports and so on. So I feel very privileged to be here to speak to you this morning. So here you are, your last days of your primary education. Finally. Whew. From the very first time you entered a classroom, every crisscross applesauce, everything you learned, every liturgy, assessment, field trip and test, has brought you here, to this moment, to this celebration of you. Your education has given you the opportunity to learn a little bit about a lot of different things, all with the goal of providing you with choices for your future. It's every struggle you've had and every success. It's in the mundane and in the excitement. It is mostly in the in-between. Your school, the classroom, gym, hallways, library, track and field, even the office, has given you the opportunity to build community. It is in the connections you've made with your friends, classmates, teachers, EAs, chaplain, or others working in the school. For some of you, it has been easy. For some of you, it has not. Each of you has experiences and connections that have helped to shape who you are today. You will remember these times, hopefully with more laughter than tears, and they will be recalled differently for each of you. What is the same for each of you is your perseverance and resilience. Many of you who have come through fire, flood, and pandemic, and if you didn't, then your life changed when you moved here. Your school years were interrupted, and along the way, some of you suffered immeasurable loss. But here's the thing. These times have shown you what you are capable of, your inner strength, your ability to be adaptable, brave, hopeful. You've learned that it's okay to not be okay and that it is okay to ask for help when you need it. As you leave these halls, you are leaving your childhood decisions will no longer be made for you, but by you. This can be both exciting and scary. Life is made up of choices. You will continue to have opportunities for courage and growth. Your journey will have challenges, rewards, and it will always provide opportunity for learning. Our prayer for you is that you look back on your time with Fort McMurray Catholic Schools and know that you are part of a village, whether your village has been big or small. Today, you are celebrated by every parent, grandparent, caregiver, teacher, staff, and board member in our division. So. Dream big, stay in touch with your friends, continue to ask questions, learn from your mistakes, be patient, listen, laugh, love. Always choose kindness. 
volunteer in your community, celebrate diversity, travel, do small things with great love, and always follow reputable news sources. Have faith, pray, and remember that while your journey is unique to you, you are never alone. Through Jesus, you have the love of God with you always. In the words of Matthew 22, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. So on behalf of Fort McMurray Catholic Board of Education, thank you for choosing us to be part of your journey. We will always be your village. Whether you are heading off to post-secondary, work, or taking some time to figure out your next steps, take heart in knowing that you are ready. After all, you are the heart and soul of Knight's Nation. Congratulations, Holy Trinity grads of 2023. As you head out to celebrate, please stay safe, make good choices, and have fun. Thank you, Trustee Langmead. We are fortunate to have a mayor and council that work hard on behalf of the residents of our region. His Worship, Mayor Sandy Bowman, had planned to be with us this morning. However, due to the local state of emergency related to the wildfires in Fort Chippewan, Mayor Bowman's attention is needed elsewhere. We are praying for all those affected by the wildfire. In Mayor Bowman's absence, we are delighted to have Councillor Keith McGrath here with us to bring greetings to the graduates of 2023 on behalf of the Regional Municipality of Wood Buffalo. Councillor McGrath, please come forward. The last time I seen that many lights, I was, uh, I was pretty close to being kept overnight. So. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here on the lands of the Treaty 8 on Seed of Métis territory. And uh, what everybody forgets, I believe this is, uh, I know that Natasha or Lisa will correct me, but I believe this is year a dozen. A dozen years, uh, my three kids graduated here. I like school so much they gave me two desks. I had one in the principal's office and I had one in the homeroom. And uh, what I found about school, School wasn't just a school, it was an institution. It was part of the community. Some of you kids, you have, you're graced, you got two sets of parents, you might have three. And uh, nobody should judge anybody because uh, I think it takes a community to raise a child. And you're gonna fail. I'm not saying you're gonna fail Holy Trinity. The only people that don't fail are the people that don't take a chance. And if you don't do nothing, only talk about one another, you'll probably spend a lot of time on the couch. I got off a Greyhound bus, and, and the reason why I get a bit touched, I know Megan was worried they had to dig from the bottom of the barrel and, and, and get me to speak today. Everybody else is working, I guess. So my uh, 18 years of being a trustee for the Catholic School Board with uh, Lord Mercy, uh, Mrs. Carberry, Terry Langus. What I'm going to say to you kids today, I know it's not going to work at Walmart or, or Safeway. Money and material stuff don't mean a bloody thing. Don't mean nothing. It's unfortunate, it's unfortunate that I got off a bus in 85. I spent a few nights in a hotel, and, and I can say this honestly. I had nothing, life was simple. I got a little bit, it got complicated. Really. And daughters, daughters, they love you till about 12, then you switch to mom for a bit. But the son, the son is always the mom's boy. And what I'm trying to say is, you can't buy happiness, but there's grandmas, uncles, aunts in heaven waiting for this day. There's grandmas, uncles, sisters, no matter who they're married to, they're here today to support you. And that they'll always be there to support you. Not the guy that's picking on your Facebook. Trust me, being a, a trustee and, a, and, and, and um, a counselor for almost 10 years, going through a fire, a flood, and, and people, uh, they can be mean, but kill them with kindness. The next time that your friend comes up and tries to befriend you, 
by talking about another friend. Look him in the eye. And I learned this at Gonzaga. Look him back and say, geez, you know, that's not what they say about you. Man, that guy really likes you. And they'll stop. So all I'm saying to you is, when you walk through this world, you've just done a little small part of it. I had three kids that graduated. I think I had one daughter in, uh, I think it would be called a trade school. I call it dad school for about seven years. But, you know, she's, she was happy. And that's all our parents, parents want. Most parents want the best for their kids. And if you don't have 50 bucks in your pocket, that don't make you a, a bad parent. As long as you got a safe place to live. And this is where I come off to the staff. I was one of those kids that I came to school early. I went home late because that's where I made my life. So it was an honest default. I went to the Catholic school board in 85 and I met this guy, Dan. I said, Dan, you know, is there a job here for me like Christian volunteer services? And I know some of you guys out there grew up with me and say, man, this guy, he's a hard case. But at the end of the day, be what you want to be, not what somebody else wants you to be. How many kids are out there today playing hockey on the ice and they hate it, but they got to do it. They got to do it because mom and dad, after a while, mom and dad get it. So when you go here tonight, don't make the mistakes I made. I, I, I've done a few. The first thing starts with, from now to eternity, if you're going to go to a nightclub, go with your friends, leave your car home, mom and dad will pick you up, or maybe your friend will pick you up. That's number one. Um, I've never always done that, but I, I, I can remember in 88, I stopped it. So, there's nobody perfect. Material stuff is just that. But if you tell your sister you hate her, and if she's gone tomorrow, that's going to leave you with an empty feeling. Because your family's good, you got, you, you're, you're in this circle. Mom and dad, brother and sister, maybe a dog like I got Rosie. That's the circle. That's the circle you're going to have for the rest of your life. Your grandmother, she's going to get mad because you don't do the way things, you know, but, but she loves you. So while I spoke, you can't buy it. You got it already. And it might be a bit biased, but when kids leave Holy Trinity or leave the Fort McMurray district, I wouldn't say they're typical Catholics like we grew up with. We're changing. We're changing as Catholics. You have kids here from, I don't know, 70 countries? 200 kids will leave here today. Some will be reflecting back on the things they could have done or would have done. But you'll hear a few people say today is almost over for you. School, I'm going to tell you, you mightn't have thought about, you know, 7 o'clock on a Friday morning when you wanted to go golfing or work at Mac Island. I, I, I see some familiar faces. Uh, you call me a sandbagger, but someday I'll have the job when I'm retired, cutting the grass, and I'll be right back at you. But no matter what you do, there's going to be a few engineers here, be a few, maybe a few doctors, but at the end of the day, take this. Material stuff is just stuff, and if you can help somebody out just once in your life, you've probably done some, somebody some good somewhere. So God bless you all, and I'm sorry it took so long, but it's not election year either because I'm all done here pretty soon. But I want to take, I want to just say to a few guys that I look around, I'm not going to single you out, boys, my kids graduated first, but it's nice to look up in the stands today and, and see the guys that we uh, either plowing snow down Franklin Avenue or building a park. This school, we're still a community, and even today the people of Fort Chip, uh, there was nobody in want because not just Catholics, we're all humans. Humanity is, is alive and well in Fort McMurray. And uh, I was touched today. I thought we're going to have a little Braden. I got to tell you, is it okay to say two more things? <laughs> I, 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 uh, I was beat by Shell and Germain here back in, I don't know, something like 98. I think they cheated me out of the system. The same thing down to Gonzaga. Me and Connor Bryan won the president, vice president, but we got, we got unelected the next day because the Jesuits didn't think we were the right fit. Don't worry about being the right fit just to adjust the pipe you're trying to fit in. And as long as that pipe helps somebody else out, that pipeline of life, 
You'll always love your mom and dad, and you only get one. And some of you guys are lucky enough, you get two. And if you're special, you might have three. But at the end of the day, another thing you can't buy. So when you leave your little brother and, and sister tonight, make sure you don't do nothing stupid like I did. Uh, we've had, we've had, uh, we've had a graduation that never went so well. And I just want to drive that home because, uh, okay, I'll get the clue. I, I got to go. Anyways, guys, I could go on, but you know what? Children, children, moms, the community, uh, we wouldn't be nowhere if we never had a mother. And, and certainly, without the teachers, uh, that, you know, teachers, people think they got it made. Teachers are, are doctors, lawyers, psychologists. So my thanks to Holy Trinity and administration. And you see this, guys? This must be election year, right? Get off the stage. Okay, I got you. I got you. Thank you, Councillor McGrath. The superintendent of schools is tasked with leading a school division that is student-centered, progressive, and responsive to the needs of the community. We are fortunate to have a leader who puts the best interests of our students at the core of every decision she makes. Please welcome to the podium, Superintendent Natasha MacArthur Poole. Good morning, graduates, parents, guardians, significant others, honored guests, and staff. It's an honor to be here with you on Treaty 8 territory today to celebrate Grad 2023. You have been blessed with an education that is rooted in Catholic values and teachings. These values have helped shape you into the individuals that are sitting here before me, waiting to take your next steps into adulthood. Your time at Holy Trinity has provided you with more than just academic knowledge. It has taught you the significance of service to others. You have been challenged to think critically, to question assumptions, and to seek truth in all things. You've been taught to recognize the inherent dignity and worth of every human being and to be compassionate towards those who are marginalized or in need. You have witnessed the power of your collective actions and what it truly means to do small things with great love. I hope you continue to seek God's will in your lives and to use your talents to serve others. I hope you've been inspired by the staff that have worked alongside you in your journey. I hope that the memories of these staff will put a smile on your face for many years to come. I know they have been a constant source of encouragement to you and that they are part of the reason you're here today. I am confident that each of you has the potential to do great things in this world and I pray that God will guide you in your journey ahead. May you never underestimate the power of faith, no matter what form it takes, whether it be a religious belief, a, a, <clears throat> a conviction in the inherent goodness of humanity, or a trust in yourself. Hold on to it tightly, nourish it diligently, and allow it to grow and blossom. Congratulations, graduates. As you embark on this new journey, carry your faith as a seed, plant it wherever you go, and watch it transform your life and the lives around you. God bless. Thank you, Superintendent MacArthur Poole. Our school is led by a team of individuals who care deeply about each and every student. They are innovative leaders who ensure that all citizens of Knights Nation are given every opportunity to fulfill their true potential. 
It is now time for the principal's address to the graduates of 2023. Please welcome to the podium, Principal Luann Demers Noble. Oh my, oh my. You have no idea how honored I am to stand before you as your principal. You are a special group. I will forever hold up, hold you in my heart. You're my first grad group ever. That is so exciting. Uh, for some of you, this is the second time that I have been your principal. For some of you, I was your very first principal in EAP. For many of you, this is our first time together, and it's been a great one. Just some reflections over the year. I'll be honest, I went through my phone, I have a lot of pictures, and I ha went through some of my pictures and some of my fond memories that included you guys. Our grad 2023 group photo that we did on your last first day of school. You guys remember that? From the roof, we had Mrs. We had Megan McKenney come and take it. So we had that on your last first day of school. Our grade 12 meeting in the theater, I even have the selfie to prove it. The weekly masses on Wednesday, the late slips I have given out. Oh, the late slips. The smiles and laughs we have shared in the halls. Volleyball and cheering with our students and Holy Spirit activate. Alien inline night for our grads. That was a lot of fun. The Saints football game at Mac Island where the cheer team and the band played. It was such a spectacular night. Having a student make it to golf provincials. Our school liturgies. Band performances, oh my goodness, amazing, and thank you for O Canada today. The theme days that we've had, our Black History Month, grad breakfast, that was a lot of fun. Cheer competitions and having cheer being part of our many activities here at the school. Basketball and Man, we did well, that was exciting. And being able to join our boys varsity team at Provincials was definitely one of my highlights as well. Hide and seek for grads at Holy Trinity after dark. Our pep rallies, our dance shows, badminton, our grad retreat in November, and then again in May. I got to know some of you at a different level. It was exciting. Bowler and bowling and laser tag for our grads only. Our cake auction, drama productions, soccer games. Go nights go, Monday night. Multicultural day, track and field where we have a group of group of students, not grads unfortunately, who are there at provincials right now. And so many more wonderful things. So such wonderful memories about this year. Now looking ahead, later today, you'll be wearing your beautiful dresses and your gorgeous suits. I can't wait to see this. In the following weeks, you'll be writing diploma exams and finals and finishing up your very last semester of high school. This will be the last time you will be together as a Holy Trinity class. Some of you may be going off to college, technical school, the workforce, university, co-op program, upgrading, and some of you are not quite sure yet. That's okay. Whatever you decide, I have a few thoughts of wisdom for you from my own group of high school friends who I am still besties with. My friend Melissa, or Mel, encourages you to travel and see the world. Expand your horizons as there is more to life than your own little bubble. My friend Lynette, or Lanny, says, show me your friends, I'll show you your future. My friend Shauna, or Juana, says, you are the ruler of your own destiny. And finally, my words to you as you leave our safe school. Be kind, be brave, take some chances, but be safe. It's okay to make mistakes 
as long as you learn from them. Do your best. Call your family and check in regularly. Trust me. Pray. Smile lots. If you need help, ask or tell someone. And always be proud of your time as a knight. Now families, I have some words for you as you sit here and you wonder, where did the years go? How did we get here so quickly? Did I just blink and my kid is graduating? I too feel these emotions. There is a country song that says, you don't know it's the last time until it is. Every time I hear it, I cry. So many things we have done over the past almost 18 years that we didn't know it was our child's last time. The snacks and lunches you packed over the years, all of a sudden, we don't do it anymore. The drives you took to get your child to and from school or to and from their extracurricular activities. Oh, how I miss those drives. All of a sudden, we don't drive our kids anywhere anymore. The number of books you used to read to your child, then you would read with them, and then never again. The last time we sat at the table together and did homework with our children. Now they sit in their room independently because, to be honest, we can't do it, what they're doing. And who knows, today can be the last time you ever enter a school. So families enjoy this very special day. This milestone, it is also for you. Now grads, back to you again. Enjoy this special occasion in your life. It's an amazing one. I hope you look back on your high school years as some of your favorite memories. May God bless each and every one of you. You are so loved and so special to us. I am so proud of each and every one of you for making it to this day. Some of you was a little more, it was a little more challenging than others. Be proud of yourself because we are proud of you. Graduates, happy graduation day 2023. Thank you, Principal Damaris Noble, for your inspiring words. Holy Trinity's student body abounds with talent, whether it is on the stage, in the studio, on the field, or in the gymnasium. This morning, we are delighted to have two of our graduates who are giving us the gift of song to, com to commemorate this special occasion. Here to perform For Good from the musical Wicket are Francesca Magbenua and Ashlyn Rex.
like a ship blown from its mooring by a wind of the sea, like a sea dropped by a sky bird in a distant world. Who can say if I've been changed for the better? But because I Thank you to Francesca and Ashlyn for that wonderful performance. We are now moving to the awards segment of our ceremony. We are blessed with a graduating class that, as a collective, is filled with leadership, faith, perseverance, and a deep sense of service to others. This morning, we will be acknowledging a number of graduates who, through their hard work, dedication, and commitment to the greater good, truly exemplify what it means to be HT built to perform. Our first award is the Mayor's Youth Citizen Award. This honor is given to a graduate of Holy Trinity Catholic High School who has exhibited those qualities which characterize a good citizen. The recipient of this award has been an active member of student council from grade seven through to their graduating year. Throughout this time, they have played a key role in organizing and hosting spirit weeks, pep rallies, the cake auction, and multiple social justice initiatives. They have also represented Holy Trinity on the track and field team and by volunteering to support the fun run event at our elementary schools. Beyond the walls of the school, this individual is an avid dancer and showcased their skills at the cultural gala for this year's Arctic Winter Games. It is with great privilege that I ask Councillor Keith McGrath to come forward on behalf of Mayor Sandy Bowman to present the 2023 Mayor's Youth Citizen Award to Julia Shiglowski. Sorry, Mr. McGrath had to run to another engagement. Um, Trustee Langmead says she looks nothing like Mr. McGrath, but she will present the award. Congratulations, Julia. Our next award is the MLA Citizenship Award. Mr. Tani Yao, our MLA elect for Fort McMurray Wood Buffalo, could not be here with us today. He sends his regrets and congratulations to the class of 2023 and, and, had, sorry, and has asked us to present this award on his behalf. The MLA Citizenship Award is presented to a graduate of our school who has a commendable academic performance, participates in school and community activities, and adds to the quality of life at school. The recipient of this award has been described as a ray of sunshine who acts with the utmost kindness and is always cheering someone on. They lead by example and are always willing to lend a helping hand. 
They are an outstanding, well-rounded athlete who has participated on the volleyball team, the school's first unified athletics team where they helped win a provincial gold medal for Holy Trinity Unified Sharks, along with the varsity basketball team which made it to provincial finals this year. They are deeply guided by their principles of respect, empathy and service and are truly a role model to all. It is an honor to ask Vice Principal Kevin Garbuio to come forward on behalf of MLA Elect Yao to present the 2023 MLA Citizenship Award to Andrew Salvador. Our next award is the MP's Special Achievement Award. Unfortunately, Layla Goodridge, the Member of Parliament for Fort McMurray Cold Lake, is unable to be here this morning and she too sends along her regrets and congratulations. She has asked us to present this award on her behalf. The MP Special Achievement Award is presented to a graduate of Holy Trinity who, in the opinion of teachers, has overcome the greatest challenges, worked hard and exhibited the most determination in pursuit of a high school diploma. The recipient of this award has shown tremendous courage and determination to face and conquer obstacles while remaining committed to her education. Her ability to overcome significant challenges exemplifies her remarkable strength of character. She is a true inspiration to both her peers and the larger community by showcasing what can be accomplished through perseverance and unwavering commitment, kindness and a splash of quick wit and a dry sense of humour. It is with great pride that I ask Ms Wardrope, our Grade 12 Counselor, to come forward on behalf of Ms Goodridge to present the 2023 MP's Special Achievement Award to Jenna Gushu. We will now present the Catholic Education Award, which is given to a graduate of our school who demonstrates a cooperative attitude with fellow students and teachers, has a willingness to place good above personal ambitions, attends church regularly, and is involved in school and service, community service projects. This morning, we are acknowledging this recipient's outstanding commitment to her faith and the Catholic community. As an active member of the church, she has demonstrated an unwavering dedication to her faith. She consistently seeks opportunities to deepen her understanding of Catholic teachings and actively engages in spiritual growth. Beyond her commitment to the church, she has been an instrumental member of the student liturgy team at Holy Trinity, and through her involvement in planning and leading school liturgical celebrations, she has helped to foster a vibrant spiritual environment for the entire school community. It is with great honor that I ask Chairperson Langmi to come forward to present the 2023 Catholic Education Award to Francesca Magbanua. <laughs> Next, we will present the Will Chrisman Shooting Star Award. Will was an energetic, confident, carefree boy who took an active role in his extended family, school, and community. When a heart defect unexpectedly ended his life at nine years of age, his family looked for a way to keep his memory to live on. The Will Chrisman Shooting Star Award is a scholarship given to two grade 12 students who are adventurous, kind-hearted, and big-spirited, who live life to the fullest and have a dream to follow. The first recipient of this award graces the halls of Holy Trinity every day with a smile on her face. Always one to greet others warmly, she brings positive energy to school events as an engaged member of the Student Council. 
She works hard to plan school events and spirit weeks, always encouraging others to join her in participating. She has been involved in track and field and badminton, and also plays the flute as part of Holy Trinity's award-winning band. The second recipient of this award embodies what it means to live with a big spirit. Each and every day, this individual brings his big spirit to the classroom, stage, or the court. Knights of all ages have been impacted by his presence here at Holy Trinity. He has an inclusive spirit and supports everyone around him. From the moment he stepped through the door in grade seven, he has shown a tremendous amount of determination time and time again, and for that reason, he truly is a shooting star. I will now ask Willie and Hilda Christmond to come forward to present the 2023 Will Christman Shooting Star Awards to Tolu Adiza and Matthew White. Our next presentation is the Brandy Simon Bring Brighter Days Memorial Scholarship. This award was established to honor the memory of Brandy Simon, who was tragically killed in a car accident on her way home from the ski hill on January 22, 2022, at the age of 16. Born in the daylight on the shortest day of the year, Brandy brought light to the world. She was the type of child whose laugh could brighten your whole day, and she truly was a ray of sunshine to those who had the pleasure to know her. To honor Brandy's memory, her family wishes to award a $2,500 scholarship to a graduating student who has persevered through hardship, has continued to show up and work hard at school even when it was not easy, and has been accepted into a post-secondary program. The recipient of this award is a hard worker, has a positive attitude, and is always trying to make the days brighter for all those with whom they interact. He was nominated by his peers and is described as a genuine and kind person who prioritizes his family as well as his studies. It is my honor to ask Trista Labucane, Brandy's mom, to come forward to present the 2023 Brandy Simon Brighter Days Memorial Scholarship to Nelson Meneses. We will now welcome Mrs. Demers Noble back to the podium to present the Principal's Award. All right, well, as you all know, I shared with you, this is my first year being a high school principal. So this graduation is very much extra special to me. When I was told that I needed to pick one student for the Principal's Award, I was actually quite devastated. I'm not lying when I say that I love each and every one of these grade 12 students here today. I smile so much every day because of them and I have the wrinkles to prove it. I also laugh so often and have developed some lovely connections throughout the year with these grads. So how was I going to pick just one student? Well, Mrs. McInnes, Ms. McInnes and Mrs. North are super organized and diligent and told me I needed to make my choice now. So I reflected over the course of the year again, and I do have a student who stood out to me, who I chose for this award. This student is exemplary. Athletics, this student played on many of our school teams. Not only did they have good skills, but great sportsmanship. They cheered their teammates on, were so positive, an excellent role model. They were a proud knight. 
Academically, this student is top notch. Let's just leave it at that. This student is super friendly, kind to everyone, makes great choices, a well-rounded student. And would you please join me in congratulating Evan Polson for being the Principal's Award recipient. The Knight's Code states that a person of this status is one who is honest, courageous, generous, and just. They have set an example for others during their time here at Holy Trinity. Our Knights are our truest ambassadors and will go forth honoring this code. This morning we are recognizing 10 of our graduates who've been identified by their teachers as individuals who've had a significant impact on our school culture throughout their time with us and who have been identified as students who will continue to promote what it means to be citizens of Knight Nations, Knight's Nation for years to come. Please hold your applause until I have invited all 10 recipients to the stage to receive their ambassador medals, presented by Principal Damaris Noble and Vice Principals North, McDougall, and Garbuio. First, Savindu Thalagala. Richard Stoop. McCray Dobbin. Elizabeth Baxter, Olivia Bell, Simon O'Connor, Colby Young, Lance Reyes, Niriak Golgier, and Haley Harvey. Please join me in congratulating this year's Northern Knights Ambassadors. school is a trinity of academic, arts, and athletics. Each and every student who attends our school has unique gifts and talents that enrich the diverse fabric that forms the tapestry of our school community. This morning, we are happy to feature a piece of artwork produced by the graduates of 2023 as the feature art on our stage. This creative piece of art will soon hang in the halls of Holy Trinity to commemorate this year's graduates. I will now ask those individuals who contributed to the painting to stand at their seats and be commended for your exceptional work. Please refrain from applauding until I've introduced all artists. Please join me in acknowledging Liv Zubel, Heidi Reed, Alexa Tokars, and Chikari Finithan. Thank you for your wonderful work. Before we begin the presentation of graduates, we would like to take a moment to remember two remarkable students who have left our earthly world far too soon. Today, we honor the life and spirit of Kaylin Brake and Brandy Simon, who were cherished members of our graduating class. As we reflect upon the memories we shared and the impact these students had on our school community, we acknowledge the void that their absence leaves. Though their time with us was brief, their impact on our lives and the lives of others will never be forgotten. 
As a school community, we wrap our love and prayers around the families of Brandy and Kaylin who are here with us today. May the souls of Brandy and Kaylin find eternal peace in the loving embrace of our Creator, and may their families and friends find solace in the beautiful memories they left behind. Today, we hold them close in our thoughts and prayers, forever grateful for the light they brought into our lives. We will now ask Jenna Gushu, friend of Brandy, and Brian Murphy, friend of Kaylin, to come forward to light two candles in honor of their memory. Thank you, Brian and Jenna. And for those of you who would like to write a message to the families of Kaylin and Brandy, we ask that you please visit the memorial table, which is set up near the main staircase following the ceremony. And now, the moment we've been waiting for. It is time for our graduates to cross the stage to receive their certificates of celebration and congratulations of their completion of their studies with Fort McMurray Catholic Schools. During the presentations, family and friends are asked to take photos from your current vantage point. While our graduates will not be pausing very long for photos, there will be ample opportunity for pictures on our stage and in front of our graduation backdrop after the ceremony concludes. I will now ask Principal Demerits Noble, along with the Grade 12 Student Services Team, Vice Principal Julie North, Counselor Adele Wardrope, and Classroom Support Teacher Sarah Corey to come forward to prepare for the presentation of graduates. Christina Jones. Joey Morgan. Thank 
Miguel Maranta. Sydney Hurst. Eva Kaminsky. Vincent Williams. Felicia Ramsey. Louis 
Haley Schultz. Lily Blacken. Bradley Simmons. Keegan Bounds. <laughs> Taya Kinatari. <laughs> Hermione Maria Raquel Chadian. Stephanie Stroud. Jason Yosef. Manila Voyager Simpson. Chikari Venethe. Alexa Tokars. Samantha Kempkin. <laughs> Riza Janetta. <laughs> Francine Lupau. Jessamy Lopez. <laughs> Isabel Furman. <laughs> Haley Harvey. Rumesa Shake.
Elizabeth Baxter. Samantha Rumbles. <laughs> Hannah Suro. Dwight Stanley. Bronson Seymour. Sierra Rousley. Vanessa Bolante. <laughs> Rashawn Samson. <-Bro. laughs> Ethan Howe. Irina Rimanovich. <laughs> Jaden James. <laughs> Evan Paulson. Cassandra Hopkins. Theophilus Ishuti. Charlotte McLean. Caleb McKinnon.
Jersey Johnson.
Chase Pollard. Jared Shepard. Mitchell.
Nelson Menezes. Jerry Herman Johnny. Jesse Lador.
That concludes the presentation of graduates. Congratulations to all of you. We are now in the home stretch of our ceremony, which is great because it's getting very hot in here, as I'm sure you know. The class valedictorian is an individual who has demonstrated academic excellence through hard work, perseverance, and dedication to their studies. The individual we are honoring today has achieved the highest academic standing in their class. Here, they are true ambassadors of Holy Trinity. Delivering his address to his fellow graduates, please welcome Evan Polson. Hey guys. 
Am I, am I doing this all right? Eight. All right. Um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and my fellow graduates. First things first, on behalf of the entire Holy Trinity 2023 graduating class, I'd like to recognize that we have the best school educators, counselors, administrators, and volunteers in the world. We would all like to take a moment to express our gratitude and appreciation for all you do. You've helped shape us into the men and women we are today. You selflessly give us your time every day and it has not gone unnoticed. Next, I would like to thank my loving family, my brother Jack, and my girlfriend Emma for helping put me on this stage. Without their support, Without their support, I never would have been able to make it this far, and I cannot express my gratitude enough. With that out of the way, I would like to thank all those in attendance for coming here to celebrate the culmination of three unforgettable years, and also to celebrate our embarkment on the rest of our lifelong journey. High school was a roller coaster ride to say the least, but now the free trial's up and it's time to face the music. I would like to reflect on our time spent together at Holy Trinity and some of the more memorable experiences we have all shared. From COVID-induced online school to finally getting our diplomas and moving on to the next chapter of our lives, we really have been through a lot together, haven't we? We faced challenges we never anticipated, overcame obstacles we never thought possible, and through it all, the memories we've made and the experiences we've had here have shaped us into the people we are today. One challenge in particular, I'm sure has left a profound effect on all of us, is the COVID-19 pandemic. I remember being so excited that we were going to get two weeks off from school. Two weeks to sleep in and hang out with my friends. But before I knew it, two weeks turned into a month, and a month turned into two, and then we were waking up right before our Google Meets to sit there with our cameras and microphones off, contemplating where it all went wrong. It seemed like practically overnight, our lives changed so drastically that our former routine was unrecognizable. The familiar chats with our friends in the classroom was replaced with the soft hum of video calls, and it was adapt to the new circumstances or fail. And seeing as we're all here in person instead of behind a video screen, it's clear that we were all able to triumph over the adversity we were faced with. I believe that unlike previous grad classes whose high school experience was defined by the pandemic, we are the class that was able to overcome the pandemic and all the challenges it posed. I mean, in other words, we're the best grad class to come out of Trinity. <laughs> One of my favorite memories from high school is the first and also the last time a grad class will ever experience hide and seek in the school. <laughs> I remember arriving with my friends and thinking it was just going to be a casual night out, but little did I know that I would still be having nightmares to this day of Eric's cackling as he stalked me down the halls or practically falling down the stairs as crowds of us ran away in every direction after someone screamed, they're coming! <laughs> Desperately trying to escape, or at least not be the slowest person. I remember the disappointment after getting caught and having to sit in the lobby. To be honest, I don't think I made it through a single round without getting caught. But more than anything, I will never forget the memories that I made with my friends that night. The laughs, and the smiles will stay with me for the rest of my life. Now I know that what they, I know that they said what happens at grad retreat stays at grad retreat, but I think seeing as the majority of us attended, I think it's okay to reminisce just for a little while. I'll be the first person to admit that I cried at Mr. Polson's speech. And if any of you say that you didn't, you're lying, each and every one of you. Grad retreat was honestly one of the most fun experiences I've had in all of high school. From the Bacot game to Monster in the Backyard, and finally the extremely heartfelt surprise at the end, 
It's an experience I am so incredibly grateful for and that will stay with me for the rest of my life. Being able to spend that time with my friends, away from everything and anything else, I wonder if that foreshadows all the good things to come after high school. As we bid farewell to the hollowed halls that have witnessed our growth, let's remember everything that we have experienced here. The memories we have formed, the friends we have made, and the time that we have shared together will never disappear. Everything we have been through up until this point has just been a stepping stone that will pave the way towards our bright futures, no matter where it may take each and every one of us. Every struggle you've endured and every triumph you've cherished have shaped you into the person you are today. Take solace and pride in that fact. Take pride in everything you've done to reach this point and accomplish everything you have. If there's one lesson I've learned through high school that is more valuable than anything I've ever learned in class, sorry Mrs. McIntosh and Mr. Duffett, it's that if there's any gamble you should take, always bet on yourself. It was your determination, your perseverance, and your hard work against the odds that brought you here today. And the fact that each and every one of you is here today, having overcome every single one of the obstacles you did, is a miracle. You have the power to create your own miracles. Well, the friendships we formed during these three years may not endure the test of time, I cannot imagine how different my life would be without having met them, as I'm sure you all feel the same. The impact that our friends and everything we have experienced with them will forever be etched in our hearts. Through the ups and the downs, the shared laughs and the shared tears, the impact our friends have had on our lives will propel us forward forever. In conclusion, my dear friends, today marks a truly extraordinary accomplishment. For a brief, fleeting, and turbulent moment, we were all here together. We shared laughter, we shared, te we shared tears, we shared dreams, and we shared fears. We persevered through a whole pandemic, for crying out loud, and we emerged victorious. As we, st as we step into the future, let's carry the spirits of our friends and classmates. Let's use the lessons we have learned as stepping stones, and together, let's forge a path towards a brighter and even more extraordinary future. We are capable of achieving greatness. Each and every one of you's potential knows no bounds. Let's create miracles. Congratulations, class of 2023. We made it! And just, just one more thing before you guys all boo me off the stage. Um, courtesy of Edwin, there's going to be a banner out in the eatery that all the grads are going to sign their name on, if you guys wouldn't mind. Thank you. Thank you, Evan. As we near the end of our celebration this morning, it is now a fitting time to present the benediction. Graduates, while this address may be delivered by one individual, it is truly a message sent to you on behalf of our entire Holy Trinity family. Here now to deliver a final blessing to the graduates of 2023 is Mrs. Debbie McIntosh. The journey started in 2005. Hurricane Katrina hit Mexico, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire were released, and most of our grad class was born. The arrival of our children was a much celebrated beginning, similar to the one we're experiencing today. Good afternoon, grads and guests. My name is Debbie McIntosh, and I'm a high school social studies teacher at Holy Trinity. 
I have had the privilege of knowing this group since grade seven and have taught many of them several times since grade eight. Uh, grade nine, that was grade nine. Uh, today is a bittersweet moment for me as not only, oh, I can't do it. Not only am I a teacher, but also the parent of one of our grads. <sighs> Uh, being a parent and a teacher in the same school has given me a very unique perspective. Though we are here to celebrate the grads, I would be remiss not to acknowledge the two groups that helped support them to get here today. In 2005-ish, your parents were entrusted with you, beautiful souls that are our grads today. We watched you take your first steps, ride a bike, start school and journey through life's challenges like getting your driver's licenses, which took a few of you a couple times. <laughs> Parents, thank you for all of the love and support you've provided for our grads and for entrusting us to be a part of their lives. Grads, supporting you through childhood and watching you grow up and is one of your parents' greatest joys in life. The other group I'd like to acknowledge is the staff at Holy Trinity. This school has provided our children many opportunities to grow and learn. There's academics, dance shows, band and choir trips, sports games and tournaments, rap programs, and more. Behind every one of these events is a teacher that has spent countless hours planning, preparing, and attending the activity. As a parent, it's been very humbling for me to see how much the teachers care about the students and how much they've been willing to give to make the students a rich experience. Colleagues, thank you so much for making the children's experience more rich and rewarding and for giving so much of yourself to them. It is seen and it is appreciated more than you know. Last but not least, graduates. I'm really trying to keep this short because I know you're all warm. What a journey it has been. Some of you have been here since grade seven and some of you just got here this semester. Many of you have gone from strangers to almost siblings as you act in the class and in the hallway. Uh, and it has been a real privilege to watch you grow. From your grade nine lockdown, like Evan mentioned, to today with your diploma preparations, it's been an honor to have watched you grow and work your way through all of the challenges that got you here today. The parents that were entrusted with you in 2005 celebrate with you today as you reach this important milestone. Now in 2023, it's a new chapter and it's your turn to make the decisions and choices. The parting words I'd like to leave you with are these. Every single one of you is more loved than you know. You are more worthy than you could ever imagine. And if you knew how many amazing, fun, exciting times that your life had in store for you, you wouldn't be able to rest. Life is as amazing as you choose to make it. So as you start your new stage of life, do so with confidence and courage and create the future that you want and deserve. Enjoy the day and the new chapters ahead remembering that today is not an ending, it's just your beginning. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. McIntosh, for the beautiful blessing. We are here at the end of our ceremony. I will now ask Principal Damaris Noble to return to the podium to provide final remarks and to bring our ceremony to a close. Thank you. Oh my, oh my goodness, aside from being really warm, um, this is just such a beautiful celebration with all of us together. Parents, families, friends, and staff of our graduating class of 2023, isn't this one of the best looking, kindest, funniest, talented group of students you've ever seen? Come on. So I 
I now need to do some thank yous because there are many and I know I'm going to miss people and please do not be offended as I, I've been really trying to get everybody here. So first of all, before I do that, I do want to send warm wishes and from Mrs. Miss Arm Brewster. She said she would have loved to have been here today. She is on the mend. Her prayer, your prayers have been heard. Please continue sending those. So thank you for that. I would like to thank Mr. Lear and our band and our music who just did such a lovely job as always. So thank you to them. And you guys can hold your applause till the very end because there's, there's quite a few here. Okay, a big thank you to Mrs. North. She is our grade 12, our grade 12 vice principal and she really oversaw almost all of graduation and it's it's a lot of work and I think she definitely well she is by far the most organized person I know which is helpful and but all of her hard work for this special time for you guys I please make sure you do thank her for that and Miss McInnes well you are tied with Mrs. North for the most organized person you are also so diligent and everything here today we thank you for your hard work to make this day so wonderful for everyone thank you Mrs. Sinclair, a big shout out to her for getting our gowns, tickets, and everything organized and ready for our grads. That was a big help and we're so grateful for that. Our office ladies, they were taking your payments until five o'clock one evening so that we could all be here together. I'm very grateful for all their extra work. Mrs. Jimenez, oh my goodness. Grads, wait until you see the theater for your prom. All I can say is wow. It's, she put it, she's so creative. She has definitely a knack for this. And we had lots of staff help out to decorate and I wanna thank them all, it's amazing. And we also had a group of parents that came and helped with some of the planning and then with some of the putting together stuff. That was so appreciated, thank you so much. Mrs. McIntosh, she took the lead on the social yesterday and it was so lovely to be able to gather together after our liturgy, thank you. And Ms. McMillan, she is, pre, she is the one in charge of the food for this evening and helped Mrs. McMillan, her and her food students yesterday with the serving and that was wonderful. Miss Wardrobe and Miss Corey, who have worked so hard to chase some of you so that you could be here today. And Miss Wardrobe who helped with the planning and decorating for commencement. We just thank you ladies immensely. All of the Holy Trinity staff, thank you for helping our grads get here today. We are grateful for you. And some of you helped out with decorating, stuffing envelopes, setting up or whatever. Thank you and helped our grads be able to participate today. Families, thank you for joining us today. I know some of you have traveled far and I think that's just amazing to show how special our graduates are. And our special guests who are here today, we have guests from district office and board trustees, political dignitaries. We thank all of you for sharing this special day with us. And a big thank you to Mr. Campbell who definitely knows what his retirement job can be. He is a great MC and kept us on track, so thank you. And you guys, I hear are his special group of grade sevens, is that right? Yes, yes. So he, this was very special for him to be part of this day. Jerry Neville and his crew for all the tech today, that was really great, thank you very much. Mrs. Loxham, a big thank you for your hard work in producing all of our grad graphic art stuff and our media promotional items and going live yesterday. We had over 800 viewers watch the liturgy yesterday. Isn't that crazy? That was just on our Facebook Live. And Mrs. Wilkie and her leadership team for all their hard work in moving items, spraying items, and helping us out. And a special thank you goes out to Brandy and Kaylin's families for joining us today. I can't imagine how hard it must be to be here, but we're so appreciative of you joining us. Thank you. 
Grads, I feel so blessed to be part of your day today, and I hope you know that you always have a special place here at Holy Trinity. Come back and visit us, share with us what you're doing, because we do care. You are so loved here. And on your first day of grade 12, I took a selfie with all of us, so I'm just going to do one right now, okay? All right. All right, everybody. One, two, three. All right, now, grads and families, this is, this is a moment that I know we're all waiting for. So, grads, okay, I'm just going to explain what we're going to do. So, parents and family members, you guys are going to want to get your cameras ready. We're, we are going to... Yes, we are going to throw our grad caps. Now, I know some of you have yours beautified, so please don't throw it very far. Throw it so that you can catch it, okay? And so if you have bobby pins in, this is now the time to take those out. And parents and families, you guys can get your, your cameras ready. I am going to count to three, and then you guys are going to throw it. Then we're going to get our hats back, and then parents, we are going to have our, we are going to exit the gym grads first. So if you can all stay in your seats, okay? I know you're excited. All right. Let me get my camera ready, too. All right. You guys ready? So everyone, one, two, three, yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, graduates. So I will get you to grab your hats and we will get ready. Thank you. 